Hi, welcome to my tutorial on how to use perplexity in an academic paper. This is going to explain what perplexity is, how it works, and how to use it to help you craft a comprehensive academic paper, how to build your reference list, your source data, and how to build like tables that you can use in your paper. It's not going to explain how to have the right paper for you. That is not a good idea for an academic paper. You could write everything yourself. Otherwise, it's likely get rejected by your teacher. But let's get started. We're going to cover a lot of prompts today. I will have a link to a Google Doc, which will have all the steps included in this video. Check the video description for a link to that doc. What is perplexity? You don't need an account to use it. You just simply go to perplexity.ai and creating an account allows you to save your search history and the responses that Perplexity gives you. We'll just ask Perplexity itself, what is it? Perplexity is a conversational search engine that answers queries using natural language text, utilizing sources from the web. It is kind of like a mix between ChatGPT and Google. One of the main differences of Perplexity, if you compare it to Google or ChatGPT, is that it provides you with all of its sources of where it gets its information. When it gives you a response, it's pulling from high authority websites to build its answer to you. This is one of the main differences, especially with ChatGPT and one of my the favorite features about Perplexity. You know, with Google, you also get the source data. That's the whole basis of Google. But you have to cut through so much noise in Google. You have to deal with all the ads and Google's own AI that it's putting up at the top of the um, bird. And it's very cluttered and busy. Perplexity is very simple. It gives you a response, the footnote to every response. You can click over and see where is it pulling that information. And you can also use all the sources in your academic paper. The next aspect of perplexity that makes it unique to ChatGPT and in some ways similar to Google is this related queries at the bottom. Whenever you ask it a question, the bottom, it gives you related questions that people have asked, which are connected to your topic. This is very helpful if you're drilling down into a topic. Now let's get started with our academic paper. There are a few things to keep in mind when you are creating a prompt, what instructions that you're giving perplexity to guide it and what you want it to do. The first thing is you want to be clear with your instructions. If you are a student writing a paper, give it very clear instructions of, I need you to help me write an outline for my engineering course. Give it context like if you're in a specific course or you're studying a specific subject, give it data or examples. So if you are a biology student, give it the example of I'm focusing on marine biology and I'm looking at a certain type of whale that lives in the Pacific Ocean. Then explain what you want it to do. How do you want the end results to be formatted? For example, tell it that you want it to start each section with a header or you want it to use bullet points and you want it to use bold text or whatever it is. Be clear, specific, but also don't overdo it and keep your prompts short to the point. Now let's go to the next step. There are three main types of prompts. The first are informational, specific data facts, and that's what we will be focusing on in crafting this outline for an academic paper. The next are instructional, you can have perplexity explain to you how to do things like give me step-by-step -step instructions on how to change a car tire or build a ship. The next is an interactive prompt. These are like conversational type prompts. Let's say you have a job interview and you want perplexity to be your interview coach. And you can say, give me a series of questions to help me prepare for my interview for X company. Those are the three main type of prompts. Now, if you are writing an academic paper and you don't have a topic in mind, Perplexity can help with that. We're gonna start with a prompt that is going to brainstorm ideas for us. In this prompt, everything that's in brackets is what you would change for your specific situation. So in this example, this prompt says, fashion design student looking for interesting topics for a research paper. In 2024, what are the top 10 trends in fashion design? Focus on trends in film, music, and art. Perplexity gives us a response. 
topics that we could have for this academic paper are, for example, 90s Redux. This is a revival of 1990s minimalism and understated chic. The modern flapper. Designers are reimagining 1920s jazz age aesthetics with a 2024 twist. Maximalist jewelry, bold statement jewelry is making a comeback. This is a great way to explore different topics related to your field of study that you hadn't thought of. Once again, you can look at all the source material and you can go into each of these articles, read them, and get even more ideas. You can also look at these related questions at the bottom. In this example, I clicked on how film and music influencing the 2024 fashion trend. Then it's going to give you more questions that are also connected to your original topic. You can keep going deeper until you find the perfect topic. Next, we're gonna have perplexity create the outline. I'm gonna go back to home. In this example, I'm an engineering student aiming to excel in my mechanical engineering paper and I need an essay outline on the effects of robotics on manufacturing, focus on areas such as automation, simulation and modeling, and include key studies so we're gonna have it create an outline. I copied my outline from Perplexity and it gives you something called markup. There's free markup converters that you can use. Paste what Perplexity gives you into one of these converters. I'll include a link to this markup converter in the Google Doc. Then it gives you something that is nicely formatted. And you can bring this over to your document, delete this original text, and then paste the nicely formatted outline into your doc. We want to build more data for this academic paper. So looking into the outline before you start writing the paper, there's statistics and information that Perplexity has given us that we'd like to drill down into. For example, industrial robots can reduce total manufacturing costs by 20% to 60%. So I'm going to copy that information. I go into Perplexity and I tell it to provide more data on industrial robots. It starts to drill down and give more specific statistics and numbers. What makes perplexity better than ChatGPT is I can click over, look at the articles and determine is this a good source? Should I trust it? Should I drill down further? If you want perplexity to look in certain types of publications for its research, you can take that same prompt and tell it to focus on academic papers. You get research from people at universities who have researched the topic. Go back, open the focus back to all. Tell Perplexity to build a comparison table, robotics and manufacturing. It's going to compile a table related to how different types of industrial robots versus collaborative robots compare to each other. I copied and pasted this comparison table from Perplexity into a Google Doc. Perplexity has put footnotes on each of the data points. You can click over and look at the article, read it, and determine if this is information that you want to include in your paper. Check the video description for a link to a Google Doc with all the information that um, we covered today. Thanks for watching.